Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog, a weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday, so I kind of messed up already. I did not start the vlog on a Monday. I'm at work, bagels here, coffee's here. Um, just doing my thing. I'm using my old camera because if you didn't know, the nice camera that I use is actually Terry's and I had to give it back to him because it's his. So we are back to the old camera where I don't have a flip out screen on top so my shots aren't as good <laughs> and as clear. I thought this week work would be picking up more but it's not. I was mistaken. Turns out we're gonna start stuff after Labor Day I think. Those are, those are the rumblings that are happening around town. At least for my show other stuff is already started. Uh, so I think after Labor Day is when I'm gonna have to interact with people and other people are gonna be in the office besides me. So I have a few more weeks left of solitude but it's just gonna be so interesting trying to work with the virus out and about. I actually did not work last week because my COVID test got messed up. So obviously it's very important for crews and everyone here to get tested regularly. I think they're trying to do it once a week or maybe twice a week if you're on set, but you're around so many people when you're making a TV show. So we gotta keep the bubble contained and we have to all be healthy. So before I could get cleared to work and to come into the office every day, I had to get a COVID test. And everyone that got tested on this one day, the entire batch got messed up because when they sent it away, the samples got too hot or something and they just got ruined and the tests came back as invalid. No one was allowed to come to work until they could get a new test. And I'm like, oh, so I couldn't come to work last week and I didn't get paid, which kind of sucked, but I'm gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Cause I'm back this week, we're back. Um, and everything was okay. I got the test again, it was negative and we're rocking and rolling. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi, welcome to the vlog. This vlog will probably be a lot of what you're used to already. Um, me sitting here at work and then I have some exciting apartment updates to show you. Oh, I'm very happy to be home. My contacts were digging into my eyes and I needed to immediately drive home and take them out. So feeling good, it's so hot, I had to put my hair up. And I didn't have lunch today. I thought maybe we were gonna, hello? Oh, I should turn the air off when I'm talking so it's not loud. But yeah, I thought we were going to order lunch and we didn't so I didn't have any food so I'm really hungry so I just prepped some potatoes and chicken and put them in the oven also today I reactivated my HelloFresh account I stopped it for a bit just because it can get kind of pricey and there was a point towards the end of living in my old apartment where I was just eating out so much which isn't the best I don't know I didn't want to cook a lot wasn't in the mood. But now for some reason, I'm in my new place. I just come home from work. I want to cook a little bit, unwind. So I reactivated my HelloFresh and I'm super excited about it. They're gonna deliver my first box on Monday and I'm going to have some delicious meals to cook. My new favorite routine when I walk in the door is I immediately go turn my air on and then I start playing a record. Here's a little sneak peek of my new setup. I'm gonna show you some other stuff in a bit. I don't feel like doing a whole apartment tour right now, but I did set this up. The corner looks a little different than what you're used to. We'll get there. We moved some stuff around. So I moved my record player here. I hung up this jewelry holder above it, which just has my more dainty necklaces and then some statement earrings that I thought the colors went well together. So these are my display statement earrings. And then all my other jewelry I just set up on here with a random slate. I didn't know where to put my slate, so it's just hanging out with my jewelry. But this is working out well for me. Anyways, my record player is here now. And when I was home over the weekend, I went through some of my parents' records, which I've done before, which is how I got most of these but we found more in random boxes. So I went through them and got some goodies and I kind of wanted to show you. Currently I'm bumping this Madonna, which is this iconic Madonna album, but we also have this iconic Madonna album. So I have two. I got the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. When I'm feeling groovy, if anyone wants to come over for a disco party, let me know. Uh, this is New Shoes. They have one song. They are a one hit wonder. What's it called? I can't wait. I figured let's give the whole album a try. 
if they're a one-hit wonder, maybe they have more uh, capable inside of them. We have Def Leppard, have a few of those. This is my mom's favorite band, and I have <laughs> grown a love for them as well. A few songs, I don't know all of their stuff, but I have a few Def Leppard. Uh, a Christmas album, now's not the time, but we're gonna get there. Figured that'd be nice to have in my collection. Actually, you know what, this feels, oh, I thought it wasn't in there. It felt absolutely empty, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, I got Bob Marley. There was a point after my cruise, this was like, three-ish or four years ago after I came back from my Caribbean cruise I was on like a reggae kick I was just listening to some island vibe music and I figured if I ever got the urge again we have some Bob Marley to listen to uh, got some classic Stevie Nicks amazing 38 special great band Fleetwood Mac I think I have two yeah I have this one is this just called Fleetwood Mac I'm not sure I should know this stuff um, and then rumors so two iconic albums and Bon Jovi <laughs> and then I have various ones in there but I feel like I've maybe gone through these before I don't know these are the ones that I've always had some new mostly old vintage I felt like I was in a thrift store going through my parents records but I'm gonna listen to some Madonna wait for my food to be ready watch survivor <laughs> duh um a new episode of love island is on it was also on last night i didn't know they were doing two episodes a week but i guess they are so i'll try to catch that and we'll see where the night takes us all right it is a bit later we have the cozy vibes going in my apartment right now i'm on my new couch so happy i overcooked my chicken <laughs> it's pretty tragic i'm sad about it but the potatoes were great, so I still had a fulfilling meal. Now I'm actually waiting until it hits 8 o'clock. I have six more minutes because Lindsay Hughes is doing a live stream on Patreon. I support Lindsay on Patreon because she's my favorite creator. I have followed her ever since the beginning. Like, she's probably one of the first people I subscribed to on YouTube. And she's like, why I wanted to make a YouTube channel. And I just love her, and I feel like we're friends, even though we're not, because she doesn't know who I am. <laughs> it's good to support your favorite creators, you know? And you get perks when you're on Patreon, you know? All of her patrons are invited to, like, a live stream tonight where she's just gonna, like, sit and answer questions or whatever, and we're all gonna be in the chat together. And I'm excited to, like, be a part of it. I don't know, it sounds really dumb. Like, I put it in my calendar, I'm like, oh, I'm hanging out with <laughs> my friend Lindsay tonight. This is what I'm doing tonight. I'm not mad about it. I thought Love Island was going to be on at 7 and then this live stream is at 8. Turns out Love Island is on at 8 so I've just been watching a lot of Survivor and listening to Fleetwood Mac. Um, it's very chill. I'm liking the vibes in here right now and of course I'm drinking Pinot Grigio. This one would not recommend. I mean um, if you can't tell, I know it's dark in here but it's yellow like it's yellow I don't know what that means so it just dripped on me but it's it's not like a light white wine it's very I don't know something just tastes wrong about it but that's probably because I'm used to very cheap <laughs> wines and this one just seems like aged and it's just an odd color and I am just trying to get through the bottle but I don't like it whatsoever but anyways I'm gonna sit here and wait for the live stream and I'm gonna have a good time. Can I sum of your usernames or let me know if it's your first time coming on? When you drink liquor, do you drink liquor much or just usually when you make cocktails? I honestly have not been like a liquor woman lately. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I have nothing to say. I just wanted to do an outfit of the day, okay? Before I head out for work. Here's my new mirror, by the way. I am so obsessed. It's the biggest mirror I've ever had in my life. And it's just so big, I don't even have to like hang it up on the wall. It's just resting in this corner with my faux fur rug that Tucker used to love to sit on and now I don't have him. Um, anyways. And then I bought this basket at TJ Maxx to just put some spare like pillows and blankets in there and it's so cute and as i was walking out of tj maxx after buying it a lady called to me and said wow that's so cute and i said thank you i just bought it <laughs> hi here's my outfit also at tj maxx i got this dress it's like a um green leopard print I guess I don't know it could be very weird <laughs> but I saw it and I thought it was cute and I just like the shape of it and like the little bow that you can tie right here and I looked at the price tag and it was $9.99 so I immediately scooped it up like I'm sorry 
TJ Maxx has the best prices for, I mean, not the best quality clothes, but if you just want a little closet refresh or like some cute little summer dresses, there you go. And some black sandals and these earrings that I got from the Mint Mongoose jewelry subscription box. Also last night after being influenced by a few glasses of wine, I decided to self tan. <laughs> it's not the most fun process. You know, you have to shower and exfoliate and then put lotion everywhere so it's smooth and you don't get patchy. And it can just be a process. And for some reason, I was just a little bit tipsy. Um, and I thought now is the time for me to do it. And I don't think I did a bad job, honestly. Kind of impressed the state I was in and the level of self tan that I got. <laughs> I just have so many uneven areas of my body from going on walks in the sun and I'm wearing like shorts and socks and gym shoes and tank tops so I have all these <laughs> like tan lines from my workout gear and it's not cute so I wanted to fix it and it's not entirely fixed but I did the best that I could. Anyways, I'm gonna go to work now. Oh, I'm just realizing I should pack a lunch because I don't think we're <laughs> ordering lunch again but I don't have any food? I have no food. Look at my fridge. Oh wait, I have pizza, right? Yes! Okay, I'll bring that. <laughs> Yay, lunch! Hey guys, today is Thursday. Made it through another day and I made it through another COVID test. They emailed me that if my test was scheduled for 145 and I was just like not doing a lot, sitting in my office, doing whatever, and I get a call at 1 and they're like frantic they're like where are you you need to get down here and i'm like why like the email said to be there at 145. it's not like i was gonna miss it on purpose like i know that i need to get it but i was gonna come at 145 because that's what you told me i went down at 115 instead <laughs> and did it anyways i went to target after work to pick up some things and i thought we could do a haul i also feel like maybe i can put you in this cupboard i don't know it's probably too high I got some bananas, so we'll start with that. I've been keeping this little like basket thing on top of my microwave to hold my produce and stuff. Um, I only have this. Well, that's a lie. I got some avocados as well, and they are not ripe yet. So, while they get ripe, we can put them in my produce bowl. Woohoo! Can I do it? Can I do it? Is this a mistake? Is this a mistake? Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, I got some garlic powder, didn't have any of that, figured I needed that. Uh, also got some black peppercorns because I don't have any pepper and I'm very excited for my HelloFresh to start coming next week but they always say that you should put salt and pepper on yourself, they don't give you those spices so I had to buy some. I got a can of olives just because I really like olives and if you saw the vlog where we had the colossal olives, they were just delicious and then I remembered how much I liked olives. I got some pads, because it's that time of the month. I got this coconut milk sweet cream creamer. I thought it sounded so good. And there was a coupon around the neck of the thing that was like, save 50 cents today. And then I tried scanning it and it didn't work. Um, so I got two of these, oh, here's the coupon. This one's useless. I got two of these frozen meals just to take to work tomorrow and Monday, I guess. Sweet and sour chicken and a meatball marinara and the last thing i got is four boxes of mac and cheese <laughs> i'm addicted you guys okay i just like having easy options to make for dinner and i think shaped mac and cheese just tastes so good so i just wanted to stock up and they were on sale so i got a frozen <laughs> a unicorn and two of these bunny pastas Oh, I also got four bottles of wine. It's nice that Target has these carriers, you know, so it's easy. I got four because dun, 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 here's my new bar cart. I am so happy with it. I'll try to link the one I got on Amazon if you are interested, but it's so cute. It was not that hard to put together and I just love it. So I have my coffee stuff up here. 
I need to refill some cake cups um, and then I just put my Splenda's in this little dish thing and then down here there's some hooks I mean they want you to put like wine glasses in here but I put some mugs and I think it's cute and then here is where you can put your wine bottles there's room for five and I bought four so that's great <laughs> and then down here I mean it's not the cutest but I just keep some shot glasses and wine glasses and a Bud Light sign and if I ever have like hard liquor or anything I just usually don't keep it in the house it's not something I buy for myself but if I ever buy some I can store those down here so here's what our kitchen looks like I wish I mean it's like when you walk in it kind of cuts off the entryway because I put it here I was gonna put it under this counter but as you can see the Keurig is <laughs> taller than the counter so I was thinking about maybe like flipping these or I don't know we may have to do some organization because this just like creates a smaller walkway also it doesn't help that I have a rug in the corner but that's a problem for another time anyway let's talk about wine there were so many good deals on the Target um, circle app or the cartwheel app whatever it's called now if you don't have that you need to download it because they had so many good deals so I got this Chloe Pinot Grigio which was two dollars off I got a the collection rosé as well as a the collection pinot grigio because if you bought two the collection wines you got five dollars off and then i got the apothic white winemakers blend this is a really really good white blend so if i don't know what to buy that day i just buy this one because it's delicious all the time and here's what it looks like when you're fully stocked with wine i just think it's so great this is probably bad for me because i never gonna leave them empty so I'm always gonna be buying wine but I mean I get bored living alone and to pass the time sometimes I just drink a lot of wine can you blame me oh I'm gonna go stand in front of my air because it's really hot it's still in like the 90s all week and it's almost September so that's insane later tonight we are having a girls game night so I'm obviously gonna be popping open one of those bottles for that and we're just going to virtually play jackbox games and stuff with some of my best gal pals so i'm very excited about that until then i need to catch up on big brother and love island i only have time for one of them i think i'll do i just stopped for two minutes to think about what i'm gonna do i think big brother because it's also on tonight so i can't fall too far behind okay thank you for indulging me um watching this haul and me talking about wine Okay, I actually thought since I was teasing my new couch for so long and I just showed you the bar cart that I should just show you the new setup of this place. I'm pretty obsessed with it, I'm not gonna lie. The desk and bed situation is still the same. And then this is my new couch. Oh my God, Jason is here. I love how it looks just with everything I already own. So I just like these pillows with it. I think it's cute. Um, I have that blanket over there. My coffee table is here, and then I moved the chair to be sort of part of this living area. I tried to be fancy and put some coffee table books with candles. Um, we got the PS2 and the PS4 SingStar mics ready to go. And then my bookcase is in here with the, just this little plant stand. I have my succulent. Oh, a little dry. I've been watering you, are you okay? Got my movies, my books, uh, they just ended up there. I did not put them there on purpose, but it's kind of funny that they're just surveying the room. Uh, yeah, and then I hung up that La Vie Belle. There's still more that I want to put on the walls, but it's such a permanent thing that I'm scared to make decisions. Like this wall is so empty and I don't know what to do with it, but we'll figure that out eventually. But yeah, this is the new setup. You guys saw that mirror the other day. Now I guess the only thing left on my shopping list is a bar stool, maybe two. I don't know. I might just get one um, so I can put that right here and then I can eat here or like work on my laptop on this counter. But for now, it just kind of accumulates things from my life. Masks at the ready, keys. If I can watch 22 seasons of Survivor, I can do anything. Actually, I'm on season 24 now, so I need to change that. But those are the home decor updates. I'm really happy with it. I am. Like, I'm. everything worked 
out. And I can always change it if I want to. I can get new stuff if I want to, but I'm very happy with how it is now. So I was excited to finally show you. But now I'm gonna watch TV because I have even less time before my girl chat. Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm excited it's Friday, but I'm going through a few things. I'm extremely hot. I have my period. I am tired. Uh, what else? I feel like I'm dehydrated. <laughs> but here we are on a Friday, so I'm excited to just have one more day to get through. And then it's the weekend, so I just wanted to say good morning. I hope your morning is going better than mine. I'm gonna go sit in a different office. It's like the little, what's it called, thermostat to control the air in this room. The display isn't working anymore, it says low battery, but I can't figure out where the batteries go so I can't control the air so the air is off so I'm absolutely dying um so I'm gonna go sit in a different office that actually has airflow in it and figure out my life but I hope your day is going great and I'll talk to you later hi guys it is Saturday sorry yesterday I did not vlog anything else I don't know what I was doing but last night Lily came over and we just drank some pumpkin beers which were so delicious and watched a movie on Netflix called One Bedroom it was advertised as the number six like pick in the US so it was like on the charts of what everyone was watching on Netflix and I don't know why everyone's watching that movie it was so bad <laughs> so bad I guess entertaining if you want just like a really bad like not even a horror movie. If you just want to watch a bad movie, <laughs> check out One Bedroom. And then today I was going to see my grandparents for the first time since Christmas, which is so crazy to think about. Some of my uncle's friends got COVID and they just want to like get tested to make sure that everything is okay. So that is postponed, of course, COVID ruining more social gatherings since 2020. So today I went on a walk, it was lovely. I have been watching 90 Day Fiance all day. It's 6.30, it's 6.30. I had no idea. <laughs> so I truly have been watching 90 Day Fiance all day. I'm on season four, but I wanted to show you some things I got from Ulta because I placed an Ulta order. I just went off, you know? These are things that I <laughs> wanted for a while. I'm lame and I have a list in my phone of makeup that I want to try. If I'm watching makeup videos or people's favorites videos and they mention something, I'm like, I kind of want to buy that. I just make a list and when my list is long enough, I place an order. Uh, the first thing I got is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Foundation. I saw Kathleen Light's do a whole video about this and she said she really liked it and she has dry skin and I have oily skin so sometimes I don't take recommendations from her just because we have different skin types so we like different products me again acting like she's my friend <laughs> the whole theme of this vlog is me pretending the youtubers I watch are my best friends but I tried this out yesterday I wore it all day and I think it looked really good I mean I definitely noticed I looked oily at the end of the day but that happens with any foundation or any makeup that I put on my face so I really liked the coverage of this and I'm excited that I got it so that's good next thing I wanted to try is from the new brand Morphe 2 which is Morphe's attempt at developing makeup that is for Gen Z or like they did this collaboration with the Danilio sisters from TikTok hoping that it will appeal to a younger audience and here I am at 25 <laughs> buying something from the Morphe 2 collection but this is the glassified lip oil and again I saw this in Kathleen's video and it just looks so pretty when she put it on it's a lip oil so basically a lip gloss but just not sticky and it just makes your lips so shiny and so pretty and just a little tiny bit pink so I really like it this is the shade mirror mirror if you're wondering this is a totally random purchase it was only like a dollar fifty on Ulta's website and this is from the brand butter London and I was just confused because this is not a cheap brand but they have a dollar lip product I was just confused so I bought it to see <laughs> what it was it's a 
glazing lip glaze i'm not really sure what's going on here i haven't tried it yet you twist it up and something comes out um but i'm assuming it's like another lip glossy product i don't know that was an impulse purchase and then i got two nail polishes that i'm very excited about essie is my favorite brand of nail polish and they have a new line called expressi so it's quick dry that's so cute and i'm obsessed with these colors i've always wanted a pale yellow and this is called busy bee line and the other one i got is precious cargo go which is an olive green and i'm so excited about this one as well i went on essie's instagram which was a mistake because i saw so many colors that i wanted but i was specifically drawn to this olive green and this pale yellow so i'm excited about that but i have my laptop here i'm going to edit this vlog so i'm probably going to make this the last clip just because today's saturday i'm not doing anything tomorrow and it's just gonna be boring so i'm going to end it here it's probably long enough but i hope you liked this vlog give it a thumbs up if you did and if you want more week in my life vlogs make sure you subscribe leave me a comment do whatever you want to do man and i'll see you guys in my next video whenever that is Bye.